with 10 MiG, 29 Fulcrum fighters fare against the formidable French Air Force. Is it even a fair fight, or is one side hopelessly outmatched? Could the aging Soviet-era jets possibly hold their own against modern French technology? Or are they destined to be outgunned and outmaneuvered? In this video, we're diving deep into this hypothetical showdown to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of each side, break down their strategies, and reveal who would come out on top in this epic clash of air power. Prepare yourself for a thrilling head-to-head -head comparison. The MiG-29, developed by the Soviet Union, is renowned for its agility and powerful thrust-to-weight ratio. This twin-engine jet is designed for air superiority and excels in dogfights, where its nimbleness allows it to outmaneuver many adversaries. Its excellent short-range infrared-guided missiles like the R-73 and helmet-mounted targeting system give it a formidable edge in close combat. However, the MiG-29 also has its disadvantages. Despite its impressive agility, it lacks the advanced avionics and sensor fusion found in more modern aircraft. Its radar systems, though capable, do not match the sophistication of Western counterparts. The MiG-29's range is also limited, meaning it is less suited for long-range missions without refueling, which can be a significant disadvantage in an extended engagement. Another weakness of the MiG-29 lies in its limited ground attack capability, making it less versatile than some of its Western rivals. Additionally, while the aircraft is powerful, maintenance and logistical challenges often plague operators of the MiG-29. Many nations have struggled with maintaining high operational readiness rates for these jets due to the demanding upkeep. The French Air Force fields a mix of advanced aircraft, including the Dassault Rafale Mirage 2000, and various support aircraft. The Rafale, in particular, is a multi-role fighter that excels in both air superiority and ground attack roles. With advanced avionics, radar systems, and sensor fusion capabilities, the Rafale is a highly capable aircraft in both beyond visual range, BVR, combat, and close range engagements. One of the key advantages of the French Air Force is its integration of modern network-centric warfare capabilities. French pilots benefit from superior situational awareness, thanks to data links that allow for real-time information sharing between aircraft and ground controllers. This enables French pilots to outmaneuver and outthink their adversaries, even if the raw performance of their aircraft is not vastly superior. French aircraft are also known for their reliability and high operational readiness rates, allowing for sustained operations. However, one potential weakness is cost. The Rafale, for instance, is an expensive aircraft to operate and maintain, meaning the French Air Force may deploy fewer aircraft in comparison to countries operating more cost-effective platforms. In a confrontation between 10 MiG-29 Fulcrums and the French Air Force, the outcome would heavily depend on the scenario. If the engagement is focused on close-range dogfighting, the MiG-29s could pose a serious threat, utilizing their agility and short-range missiles effectively. However, modern aerial combat often begins well beyond visual range, where the French Air Force's advanced radar systems and BVR missiles would give them a significant advantage. French pilots would likely detect the MiG-29s before being detected themselves, allowing them to engage with long-range missiles like the Meteor before the MiG-29s can close the distance. Furthermore, the superior training, tactics, and network warfare capabilities of the French Air Force would allow them to coordinate attacks more effectively, overwhelming the MiG-29s through superior numbers and strategic positioning. Ultimately, while the MiG-29 is a formidable opponent, the French Air Force's combination of advanced technology, superior tactics, and multi-role flexibility would likely lead to a victory in this scenario. The MiG-29s might score some early successes, especially in close combat, but the French Air Force's comprehensive approach to modern warfare would likely secure the overall win.